Yo, what's going on guys? Nash Drew here, back with another episode of Is It Trash? Over the years, we've taken a look at a lot of different products, mostly hockey products. We're taking a jump into the medical field, the sports field. This is the GX Smart Sweat Patch. To give you guys a rundown of what this is, Gatorade came out with a patch that you stick to your arm. You then go and work out, and as you work out, it'll fill up with sweat. There's different chemicals that happen that produce different colors. You take an app, scan the band, and it gives you a rundown of everything that you just did with your workout. So I've seen different videos online. They're all professionally done. They have like Gatorade employees behind the scenes. We're gonna be the first people to put this to the actual test. Now it is not just me today. I texted my buddy Brian to have him come out, so we're gonna run a 1v1, he's gonna have a patch, I'm gonna have a patch. At the end, we will both then scan our results and see if they differ from one another. Brian, come over here. All right, Brian, welcome. If you guys don't know Brian, uh, he's famously known for having a goalie chase after him and for taking out someone's kneecaps. So, welcome to the show, buddy. We Good have the Good sweat patch that we're gonna be tossing on. These cost $25 for one pack. You get two of them. I'm gonna be using one on you, one on me. We'll put them on our forearm. Let's see how this goes. We are ripping open the Gatorade GX patch. <laughs> Here's a close up of the product. First, let's take a gator at this. As you can see, this is the GX. These are gonna fill up and it's gonna turn orange. That shows that you're sweating a sufficient amount. Then you have these different colors. So this band here is going to change colors depending on the sodium concentrate of your sweat. I have no idea what's going on behind the scenes. I'm not a scientist. Uh, we'll save that for the chemist, but we're tossing these on our arms. Let's go. Step number one, you gotta dry this off, patch right on the forearm. Make sure that that doesn't move. Nurse Nasher coming in clutch. Boom, you're ready to go. Let's, Let's go. go. Patch number two, nice and smooth. So there we go. We look like cyborgs out here with these Gatorade Smart Patches on our arms. We're gonna head to the rink, go for a little 1v1 for 30 minutes. We'll come back, scan this up, see what our results say. Let's get it. It is officially game time. One last thing that I forgot to mention before we get going, this patch has to be used between 45 and 95 degrees. You can use it inside, but obviously when we're talking ice hockey, it's gonna be below freezing. So in our case, we're gonna try roller hockey where we don't have to have elbow pads on. That's not gonna mess with the sensor, anything like that. We're just keeping it nice and clean. Brian, you ready for a little 1v1? This guy literally is like 0 for 10 against me, so it's another, another big day for us here. Let's get it. Warm me shot. <laughs> yep, this is how it's gonna go. All right, whatever we do while we're playing, no slashing or hooking the arm, okay? I know I'm that's that. <laughs> that's yeah. what we agree on. And a no. Oh, mistake! Off the pipe. There's one. Let's go. Bang. There's one out, we're going to three. Here we go. Oh, good luck. Oh my gosh, go in. Oh, what a block. Oh. All right, so one zero. Double piper. All right, update, still at one zero. Brian's got the little racetrack going. I'm losing, but I got the racetrack. I've got the <laughs> one little orange dot on mine. Wow. He's, he's working wor harder, but down one zero. Working smarter, not harder. Two. Something to mention is me and Brian have literally played each other probably a hundred times over the last three months. So we know the ins and outs. You know, there's no dirty dangles going on today. It's just hard work. And right now, I'm not working this guy. There it is. 3-0. I'm just hitting targets today. It's game one. I mean, we got more games than us, right? Oh, yeah. We got to fill the racetrack more. So mine has done a little loop. You, uh, oh, my, he's got the purple. He's already at the full sodium level. So what does that tell you? You can outwork someone, but still not be as good as them at hockey. Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> Take that back. It's about the sweat levels, right? We each have different makes and models, just like cars. I sweat less, working harder than him out here. He just fills the racetrack a little more, that's fine. So there it is, game one. 
One zero, we're gonna go best out of three. So if I win the next one, it's GG's. Hopefully we fill this thing up quick, but I gotta say, they are Stay, staying on. Staying on, real solid. I sweat a lot and this is not coming off at all. Yeah, we were worried at the beginning, like when we were stretching like this or if like a stick would catch it, but no, all in all, doing a good job. Game two. Gone. Oh. Yep, we are just hitting targets. Well, no, right now we're in the middle of game two. This guy's put up a big donut so far. Uh, if you guys just want to trip him in the comment section. Zero goals, two games, a little rough for Brian, a little rough. There we go. Oh my bang! And it's just, it's an embarrassment right now. I mean, I hate to say it. You gotta step up big for the fans here. Hey, you know, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. This guy in Cincinnati signed his first ever autograph. If you ever see us in public, go up to him and get his autograph. There's nothing he loves more in this world. All right, show him some love. Here we go, 2 up. Oh my. 2-0, 3-0 after the shot. Oh, I wanted that, the no looker. All right, I'm ending this. <laughs> well, there's game two. Wow. Okay. That was the shot. So we just finished up game two. Our boy here, not the best showing. Couldn't hit any targets, he had some good chances. But what we're here for is the patch. So if we take a final look, his is starting to fade a little bit. We think that could be because his adhesive is starting to come off. If you actually push down on this, you can see it's kind of adjusting. That should not be happening. Mine though has actually stayed pretty pure. I have not filled this all the way up, but we do have a line and then we got at least halfway. And all the videos I saw, this is about where they were ending theirs. I think what we have so far after about 40 minutes is a pretty good start. Now it is time for the moment of truth. This is the GX app and it has our most recent workout. So you can see we went from 11.34 to 12.16. 42 total minutes. We got the temperature out here. We're gonna hit scan GX patch and now we have the sensor. So we will place this directly in the scan. So GX is measuring your fluid loss, sweat rate, and sodium. The way you sweat is unique to you and changes each workout. I told Brian, he's not working harder than me. And then this is our sweat profile. So final results for us. The fluid losses, the amount of fluid losses leaving your body from exercising. We are at 37 ounces. The sweat rate, 1582 average milliliters per hour. Again, when we scan Brian's, his should be a lot higher than mine. And the sodium level, again, which was that purple that we saw, is sitting at a moderate level. So now using that data, we're gonna be able to get a plan of how much water we should drink, Gatorade, you know, proteins that we should eat afterwards, whatever it may be that will come now. It's gonna give you a step-by-step -step of everything you should eat and drink throughout the day. So it says I should wake up at 7.34 a.m., drink five ounces of fluid, work out again from 11.34 to 12.16 if we do that again tomorrow. After this, we should drink 37 fluid ounces, consume 435 grams of sodium, 10 to 30 grams of carb, 24 grams of protein, and then drink some more water before bed. So it gives you an entire schedule from the moment you wake up to the time you go to sleep as to what you should do based on that workout. But we actually have finished this workout at the perfect time. It has started absolutely pouring, so we're getting under this building. All right, we got Brian's final read, and as you can see, his is a little bit higher than mine. You saw his patch filled up more. He was obviously losing more sweat. So he's at 62 for that fluid loss. The sweat right there is 1672 and that sodium level a little bit higher than mine as well. So if we hit save and generate plan, he'll get the same plan as me. We also saw if you click on which drink you should have, he has water, grape juice, they have different Gatorade products that you can buy that will fit your needs. This is honestly kind of fire, I'm not gonna lie. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with all the technology in here. It worked just as intended. We got our plan, we got everything that we should be drinking and eating after this workout. Now the question of the day, is it trash can only use this product one time so technically these are trash so let's let's go ahead and head over to the trash can you guys know the drill classic Tuttle Park trash can <laughs> that's gonna do it for this video I hope you guys did enjoy it again big thanks to my boy Brian 
for coming out, Thanks showing for love, me. playing us a one-on-one. -on -one. Hope you guys did enjoy. I just realized during the chaos of this outro, I never actually answered the question. No, this is not trash. It worked just as intended, and honestly, it was pretty sick. You guys know the old Gatorade commercials where it's raining and the Gatorade's coming down? Gatorade rain. Start crisp. So the other camera just on. We're finishing up on here. If you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful, make sure you do what? Hit the video with a like, subscribe. <laughs> We're on the road to one million, baby. <laughs> Let's go. We'll see you guys next time and peace.